Hi guys, it's Aston from Essex Rosary again. In this video, we're doing a follow up from our previous video. So, yeah, we're out on the road again. Um, it's empty, by the way. Um, we've had a few inquiries after our previous video that we put out several years ago. We've got a lot of questions with regards to the intermittent engine or premix oil that we recommended. Um, usually it's, the question goes something like this. Uh, we know you're not supposed to use a fully synthetic engine oil in um, my Mazda RX-8 or RX-7 for argument's sake. Um, so why do you recommend a fully synthetic premix? The basic answer is guys, if you're using a good fully synthetic premix, it's engineered taken into or is designed at Inimitsu or whatever manufacturer that you've chosen. It's designed taken into account that it will be put into a combustion chamber and burnt. So fully synthetic premixes are ideal to keep ash levels and carbon deposits down and they are engineered to take into account that they shouldn't be they're engineered and designed to be burnt, unlike your engine oil, which isn't. Now, that said, obviously not all premixes are, or not all 2T, two-stroke premix oils, whatever you want to call it, they're not all the same. But if you're using the right stuff, it will actually, the fully synthetic stuff will actually have a benefit. Also, we keep hearing this myth that if you use premix, you must run a decap uh, because it clogs your cat, your standard cat up, and it will kill your cat. In my experience, that's all, for want of a better word, crap. I actually think, or I actually feel that a lot of this is coming from people which are using poor quality or worn-out ignition coils on engines that they're not aware they're, they're, they're well due for it or the ignition coils are due for a change. So they're continuing to use um, ignition coils which are overdue replacement on a vehicle which essentially whether you premix or not is going to kill the cat. The problem being is a lot of these people are then starting to premix and then not long after or maybe a year after their cat goes and they automatically assume that because they've started pre-mixing that it's that that's killed their cat. It's not. It, is, it will be the poor or the failed ignition coils, poor quality ignition coils. It could be leads or spark plugs for instance, not just coils, but there's, I've, we've not found in our experience any correlation between using a good quality pre-mix and cat failure. We've got plenty of customers which actually run cats and have run premix for years without a problem. We also get asked how much premix to use in a tank. Now, in an RX-8 tank, it's about 60 litres. Um, we normally recommend 150 to 200 millilitres of premix. Now, different manufacturers are going to have or recommend slightly different ratios. Um, but in a mid or roll purple is generally what we found works. Obviously an RX-7 on an FD tank is slightly larger, so you're going to want a little more. Um, I think the ratio is something like, on a regular vehicle that runs a L meter in pump, is something like 400 parts fuel to one part premix. So if you work that out, for every 400 millilitres of fuel that you put in your tank, you want to add one millilitre of premix. Now, if that's correct, it's fine if it's not I'll correct it here um, here wherever um, but yeah that should at least get you in the ballpark obviously it pays to work at exactly what size tank you've got I mean actually let's do this RX7 FD this is the size tank you've got RX7 FC this is the size tank you've got RX7 FB this is the size of your fuel tank. Obviously we'll put the numbers up on the screen. 
going from that, that should give you, get you a, a ballpark figure of the kind of premix ratios you need to run in your particular vehicle. Obviously, if you're deleting the oil meter in pump, you need to substantially increase the premix ratio um, in the fuel because you're not going to be injecting any oil via the oil meter in pump. So all your lubrication needs to be done by the fuel injectors. That said, do bear in mind if your particular engine runs fuel cut on overrun, you're not going to want to be doing fuel cut and overrun, you're going to be wanting to change your driving style because if you've deleted your oil meter in pump, when you lift off and it fuel cuts, your engine's still rotate, rotating but it's not getting any fuel, which means it's not getting any oil. So bear that in mind. kind of run out of things to say at this point so if you've got any questions guys with regards to premix that we haven't answered in this video or the other one we've done which we'll link to up there in the cards um, if you've got any more questions please please stick them down there in the comment section we'll do our best to answer them um, and we can also do a follow-up video part three I'm guessing um, yeah with that said I suppose it's time to sign off as usual um, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscri hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you get notified when we put out new videos. you find us on social media at Essex Rotary Specialists on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Essex Rotary. Our website is EssexRotaryStore.com and you'll also find our main website at EssexRotary.co.uk. And with that said, guys, um, in this current climate, please stay safe. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, if you like the video, well, I've already said that. <laughs>